So at the beginning of January, I finished the whole Hunger Games series. That's right. I did that and um, I do have a lot of opinions uh -huh. on that. I really loved the first book. The second book was not as well written, but it was still exciting and, and true to the character and, and things like that. I hated the third book. <laughs> I hated it. I finished it because I was in, yeah. but I absolutely hated wow. the third book. I feel like the writing style just like went down. The, decline, yeah. the the character, like what what the hell? It just it didn't work. I I had talked to the Hunger Games from someone and they had pointed out what's cool about the progression of the Hunger Games is like the very beginning, she's very like focused on like herself and her family, and that's her world at a very small level. And then the second book, she's realizing, oh wow, there's like more in this world than just me and my family, and I care about other people more. And then by the third book, it's kind of like her whole world is starting to like fall apart. Like she's noticed not only that what she does affects her, her family, and her small community of people, but then it affects everything. And I thought that was like an interesting view of how the writing style changes and the character changes throughout. But I just... that ending, huh. right? I don't know. It just... You huge disappointment. About yeah. Ending. Huge disappointment. I don't want to say much because it's like talking about the ending of a book. Is... No, spoilers. Yeah, I, I hate when people say spoilers. <laughs> don't ask someone to talk about a book if you don't want any spoilers about it, you know? But yeah, fair enough. It's not even like the ending, I can say specifically, I didn't like this. It just didn't feel like it went with the character. It feels like... The betrayal of the character. A little bit, and like... It, it's kind of like the end of Harry Potter, where it just feels like they wrapped it up in such a cheesy, normative way that it's just kind of like, oh, really? We've been following it for so long for this? And, you know, she's not very brave by the end of the trilogy. Like, she kind of moves back into that selfishness that had opened her up at the very mm. beginning of, of, the, of the trilogy, you know? It ends up being still, like, her only satisfaction is, like, her small little existence. And I know it felt a little bit like women getting back in the kitchen for me. I know that's not... I know that it was saying more than that, but on, like, a big scale, was it really, you know, like... That third book, it just undermines the other two. I don't know about undermine. I don't know if that's no, the right way. So. The right way to say it. From a feminist perspective, it it, it muddles between like strength and awesomeness, and she, they built up this great female character. Yeah, did, yeah. She showed so much bravery, and and she seemed to become kind of a coward by the last book, and I really like that. 